Within this lesson, we'll multiply two-digit by two-digit numbers using four partial products. In the previous lesson, we had been looking at 53 times 20 and how it is that we can use an area model to help solve that problem. Let's go ahead and write that out, where it is that we have 50, we have 3, and we also have 20. And then so in that case, we had two partial products, where we had the partial product of 2 tens times 5 tens, which equaled 100 tens, which equals 1,000. And we had the product of 20 times 3, or 2 tens times 3, which was 6 tens, which was also equal to 60. And we added those together to get 1,060. Now, let's look at the area model for the problem 53 times 24. In setting up 53 times 24, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and break apart 24 into 4 along with that 20. And we'll go ahead and still have the 50 along with that 3. And then so instead of having two partial products, we'll have four partial products, where we're multiplying 4 times 50, or 4 times 5 tens to get 200. We're multiplying 4 times 3 to get 12. We're multiplying 20 times 50 still, just like our previous area model, to get 1,000. And we're multiplying 20 times 3 as before to get 60. And to figure out the area for 53 times 24 then, what we'll be doing is we'll be adding together all of those numbers. If we write that out from right to left and from top to bottom, let's write out those partial products from right to left and from top to bottom. So we had 4 times 3 added together with 4 times 50 plus 20 times 3, plus 20 times 50. I'm going to write that vertically as well, so you can see what it is that we did. We first took 4 times the 3, then we went 4 times this 5, which is worth 50. Next we looked at the 2, where we went this 2 is worth 20, that's why it's 20 times 3. And then this 2 here, which is still worth 20, times the 5, which was worth 50, and that's why we wrote 20 times 50. In solving that there, we carefully add those together, and we get the answer 1,272. And then so I have written that there, we have 53 times 24 equals 1,272. Right, it was actually 212 more than the answer here because of what it is that I did with that problem where I had 24 instead of 20. So you can see in here we did have four partial products that we are working through. Let's work through another problem using the area model. Here I have 37 times 46. So we'll go ahead and break apart 37. And in breaking apart 46, we'll go ahead and write the ones first. So it breaks down to 6 along with 40. This time we'll go ahead and write this out using unit form. 6 times 3 tens, which is equal to 18 tenths. 6 times 7, which equals 42. We have 4 tens times 3 tens. Remember, when you multiply tens and tens, you get hundreds, so that's 12 hundreds, which also equals 1,200. And write out the 180 there. And we also have, let's see, 4 tens times 7 which equals 28 tens, which does equal 280. So let's write that vertically. 
I have 37 times 46. Again, I started with 6 times the 7. Get 42. Next, I looked at 6 times the 30, which equals 180. Following that, I looked at the 40 times the 7, which would equal 280. And then finally, I looked at the 40 times the 30, which would equal 1,200. And then so those are the same partial products that you see within my area model. Adding those together carefully, 4 plus 8 is 12, plus 8 is 20, so I'll regroup the 2. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 2 is 5, plus 2 is 7. I get the number 1,702. Read the whole equation with me. 37 times 46 equals 1,702. Okay, it's your turn to try. Go ahead and solve 45 times 26 using the area model. And go ahead and write out those partial products. All right, we'll start with 45, where we have 40, and then we also have 5. And then let's break apart 26. We have 6, and we also have 20. And working out those partial products, this is 2 tens times 4 tens, which equals 8 hundredths. We have 20 times 5, which equals 100. 6 times 5, which equals 30. And we also have 6 40s. So that is 240. Writing that out, I try to vertically again. 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times the 40 is 240. This 2, which is worth 20, times 5 is 100. And then I have 20 times 40, which is equal to 800. Adding those together, Does your answer match? Let me show you one more example. Here's 68 times 75. There's 60, there's 8, where we broke apart that factor, 68. And then let's break apart 70 and 5. Writing that out. We have 5 times 60, which equals 5 times 6 tens, which equals 30 tens, which equals 300. We have 5 times the 8, which equals 40. We have 7 tens times 6 tens, which equals 42 hundreds, which equals 4,200. And then we have 70 times the 8, or 7 tens times 8, which is equal to 56 tens, which also equals 560. Writing out those partial products, of 40, of 300, where we're going from right to left and top to bottom. Uh, 560 and 4,200, and adding them together, I get the answer of 5,100. Read that all with me. It's 68 times 75 equals 5,100. As you see here, we broke apart the number 68 into 60 and 8, broke apart 75 into 5 and 70, and we have four partial products that we end up adding together.